Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's Mystic Minute is about a prosperity and abundance and the opposite of prosperity and abundance. We have so much available to us. The world is so abundant and prosperous. It is a never-ending affirmation of the creation of consciousness. And you, as essence, are consciousness. You are here manifesting in this reality, and you are manifesting reality as creative consciousness. All of this is here and available to you. Abraham Hicks said that Abundance is all around us. It is like Niagara Falls, and most of us are sitting around with teaspoons. Think about it. It is, really to me, it is like oxygen, and most, most of us are just taking little tiny breaths. You know, if I take too much oxygen, it's going to deprive somebody else of oxygen. <laughs> It is all here, it is all available. And what abundance feels like, what prosperity feels like, is it does, it feels expansive. It, it, it feels heady. It, you know, I describe it as standing by Niagara Falls and, and experiencing that ionized air. It's, you can, can feel that expansion, can feel that clarity. And when we are in that experience, it feels effortless, it feels joyous, it feels expansive. And when you think about, when you relate it to money and you relate it to, to like income, if you think about it, the people who work the hardest often are working for the least amount. They're, they're doing the most grunt work for the smallest amount. And the people who are doing, being paid the most, are often being paid so much is coming in through very effortless seeming work. They are selling their information, they are selling their expertise, their years in a field, they're you know, creating through coaching, or you think about you know, your favorite movie star being paid millions of dollars for play acting. And they are giving all their life force and they're giving all their focus in that moment. They're also trading their privacy for that experience. They're, they're spending a lot of time promoting the movie or whatever, so or preparing for that role. There's, there's a lot to what they are giving away in return for so much. But it's certainly not the same as pushing a broom for minimum wage. So that's an interesting thing to notice as well, is that you get into greater realms of abundance and prosperity when you're out of, when you've released effort and struggle. Working hard is like the antithesis of receiving abundance. But there's another area, too, to look at in terms of your abundance and your abundance container, so to speak. And where, where is it leaking? I think about the energy of, of debt, like using credit cards, is creating debt. And that is, that is a form of, of leaking. It's actually a, a vacuum. You know, credit cards are like a vacuum to your abundance. And it's, it's so contradictory because it's like, oh, well, if I use a credit card or I can get lots of stuff that I can't really afford to pay for right now. So you get lots of stuff, but there's a, there's a vacuum to it. And really, when you break down the numbers, you've also paid so much more for that thing because of credit card fees and interest and 
stuff like that. I remember when we started having debit cards and it was such a relief to me because it's like oh this is this little plastic thing it represents real money so now use my debit card for things and it's real money that is really there in exchange for the real thing that I am taking so when we're trying to create abundance some of us get overly spiritual in the process and forget to anchor it into form. Do all this excessive, excessive from physical form, all this excessive activity or purchasing to have this feeling of abundance. And there's this feeling of the vacuum of debt of yeah, vacuum, it leaks, it leaks your abundance. The other thing is, is that shows up in areas of your life as well. Where, where is your energy leaking? Where is, um, I struggle with using it like debting, but you can think in terms of um, where it's not showing up in reality. Time structures of time and space okay so there is no time or space as consciousness consciousness exists in the realm outside of time and space but when we're inside this hologram and in this format there is an aspect of time and space that's just in the makeup of things there's energy techniques and there you know when you're really in the moment it can expand and it can contract and I'm not talking about those energy techniques I'm t but I but there's a aspect of time deading so to speak because you're operating from unconsciousness so when you're not being conscious then you're you're late to everything <laughs> oh he's running late I'm running out of time there's a deadline and you've missed it see what that is see how that energy is different so there's a difference between being highly conscious and highly aware letting go of effort and then dancing within the structures of time and space and it's pretty amazing I know for myself when I operate this way I wake up on time I get everything done by the end of the day you can set intentions for things to happen by the end of the day or if you're in a group session you you can invoke the completion by two hours or four hours and it's amazing how it all neatly ties up as opposed to doing a session we are in a session with someone on Skype or whatever and it just leaks out into the next hour or the next hour because you're not being focused and conscious about the container that it is in when you become more conscious of uh, these these really simple things, you start to to create a space within that is a container for more abundance. That is a container for the prosperity to receive the prosperity. It's not just flowing in and flowing out. Though there's something to flowing in and flowing out, but there's also a, like falling between your fingers is what I'm thinking about. A meditation you can do on receiving abundance and receiving prosperity is to sit quietly with your feet flat on the floor. You can do this lying down. I like the I like the feet flat on the floor aspect of it and being awake because then you're consciously bringing it into your space. And just imagine a waterfall above you like the energy of Niagara Falls coming in through your space and through the top of your head and filling up your whole space and pooling beneath you. So you've got the energy flowing of Niagara Falls flowing through your space, through every cell of your body and every you can chakra and meridians and whatever however system you'd like to fill up. 
in your energy bubble. And you sit and experience what that is like. And then after a moment, when you are ready, you can release the rest of the Niagara Falls down into the ground. You can have a pool beneath you if you want the reservoir of that energy. I would fill it up with that ionized air feeling. So you've expanded, created this abundance, and fill it up with this ionized air. And what you've done is you've expanded your space to have more. So you've opened up anything that doesn't match that expanded havingness has gotten washed away and you've cleared your space out to have more prosperity and abundance within you. And by allowing yourself to have a reservoir below, you have the flow coming in and the flow going out, but it's not <clears throat> it's not going in and it's not go it's not just going out again. What will happen with some of my clients is that they'll create a great abundance and then they'll create a big bill <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> like, okay, we don't want the in and out quite like that. You can have a flow where you can receive and you can give and there's a trust that everything is coming in and things are going out and you can still water your garden all the time. So I invite you to play with that technique. I invite you to notice your life and, and notice where you are having, where you're allowing abundance and prosperity in. And notice where you might be, might be leaking, where it might be like flowing out. Never thought about, oh, I thought I had to use my credit card for my FICO score, for my credit scores, forgot the word. Um, that's a whole that that's that's a whole morphic field uh, that is not necessarily accurate, but definitely in keeps you keeps you from your true abundance. So play with these things this week. Notice this and um, have fun, and see you on the next Mystic Musings. <laughs>